So this is a, an expanded video on the YouTube short I made where I was experimenting with electromagnetic induction and I hooked up this giant induction coil to an audio amplifier. I came up here in the mountains to conduct this experiment because in the city the AC hum was so ridiculous it was interfering with my experiment. So what I did here was I hooked up this amplifier to this giant induction coil here, much like my telephone amplifier, which also has an induction coil on it here. And I just want to see how far I could pick different things up um, with this giant one. Anyway, I'm still hearing the hum even up here in the mountains, so unfortunately I can't get away from that easy. But check this out. I'm just spinning the motor on a shaft that's not even hooked to anything. I'm trying it now with the wire shorted. How about this drill here? Or this tape recorder. Even when I cover the speaker on the tape recorder, it inductively picks up the, the audio. Check this out. Okay, I'm making an audio recording for about a minute here just to see how this works. I'm up here in the mountains making this interesting experiment. Even a few feet back, I'm still hear, hearing the audio. It's very beautiful up here. Amazing, isn't it? I don't see any wild animals yet. I'm sure they're out here, but uh, I do see a lot of litter. How about this walkie-talkie here? Check this out. Oh, Even these little magnets I've got in my pocket here. These are just magnets positioned inside this plexiglass, so they're all opposing each other from the side. What about my big magnet here? Let's try spinning this thing. Oh yeah, sounds like a helicopter. So for those of you who are wondering what's the point of this experiment, I have no idea. I just love to experiment and see what's possible. You know you guys wanted to know this stuff, right? Anyway, there you have it. So anyway, I had this thought. What if you made a giant induction coil like the size of a skyscraper with millions of turns of wire on it and you didn't have any electromagnetic interference from the local power lines it's kind of an interesting thought just to wonder what might you hear what sort of fluctuations would you hear does the earth's magnetic field change in a way that you'd be able to hear that and what would it sound like anyway i guess i'm going to head on back to the city no luck getting away from the ac hum it's everywhere i'll have to figure out one of these days how many miles you have to be to get away from an ac hum that should be an interesting question in itself all right, I guess I'll shut this thing off, give you one last look here.